Morning girls, how are we doing? Back here again with Amber Lynn Reed. This one is Buzzball Taste Test. Come to them all with me and how I feel about Amy and Tammy Slayton. Uh, Amy, uh, we'll go with Amy and Tammy. <laughs> Amy and Tammy Slayton uh, vlog. Uh, so super excited. Girls on her way out to Dresden here. Didn't know that was the mall she's going to bomb today, but whatever. We're heading straight into this, guys. Very close to Christmas. I hope you're all excited. Hope you're all prepared. Hope you guys are all for Christmas. Everything I got, I am all for Christmas now as well. So I'm very excited, guys. So uh, let's just get straight into it, I guess, really. I, I'm assuming that the next video we're going to get from her is Christmas Day because she's like usually leaving two to three days, which she needs to upload. So. Yeah, I, I woke up this morning. This one was sitting here. Let's go, guys. Okay, so we are currently at the mall. My, oh my mom God. um is getting AC. I also just noticed there was no hello or anything. A guy was just like, okay, we're at the mall. It's like, okay, Amber, calm down. Sorry. Sorry if I upset you. Christina gift and Exciting. I'm looking for the new Eilish perfume because Eilish? This is her third perfume. Oh, Eilish. And Billy I'm Eilish. Too, so. I thought she said eyelash just weirdly. I didn't think she was actually saying like Eilish, like Billy Eilish. I definitely need the third one. And I'm just yeah, now starting sure. my vlog, so hi. I just yeah. remembered that I did not start it today, so uh -huh. um, yeah, I was just like super distracted all day, but hello. You, every time you change scene though, you could say hi. You could just be, you know, nice, polite. You could say hi to me. Oh, welcome to a new vlog. Hi. So I'm at Macy's and they have like so much perfume. Oh my God, yeah, so much? No Billy. Oh no. This is the one that is like my favorite. Versace. And that I recently ran out of. Wow. It smells so Just like the other six you all ran out of at exactly the same time. That she was like randomly claiming, it's like, well, I've had these perfumes for ages, guys. And I just coincidentally ran out of like six all at one go. I was like, no, because you show us your perfume collection constantly. And it's like, it's not like ones you have for ages. You go through them very, very quickly. It's like, you don't have like one perfume. It's like, well, this one's going to last me six months. It's like, no, no. You just like constantly have a new co a collection because you're constantly buying makeup, uh, perfume and makeup as well. And you're just plowing through it so fast because you, I don't know, probably smell and you're probably just like dousing yourself. Good. So for my mom's Versace. secret Santa, she's getting this uh, men's cologne. Or Le perfume, whatever you want to call it. Actually smells really good. Cologne. Not bad, not shabby. Wow. You guys, so I actually just got home. Um, I have some... A secret Santa. I'm just gonna be like direct. Like, well, I don't know who the secret Santa. I think secret Santa for someone at work. Like, it, I find it weird to get cologne as a secret Santa. But maybe that's just me. Maybe for me, when we do like work time secret Santas, it's always like funny gifts based on the person's personality. You're meant to see like, oh, what's annoying about this person? What's what's a, a habit of theirs? What's a trait of theirs? And then you buy based on that for the secret Santa. That's where like the fun of secret Santa comes in. If someone's like, I got you some cologne. It's like, oh. Okay, bro, because unless you cologne is like such a specific thing, I might not like it. Like, you might like it, but I might not like it. So it's like, oh, okay. Uh, it just seems like more a romantic thing to get like a, a, a male uh, cologne. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just entirely wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe lots of girls get guys cologne, and, you know, for whatever reason. But for me, it's just like, our secret sounders are always like funny. Like, oh, the, oh, oh, John, he's an idiot. He never shuts up about golf. Let's get a funny golf related thing for him. That kind of thing, as opposed to like, I don't know, I'll get you some socks and I'll get you some cologne. Clothes in the wash. My dryer is still not fixed, so I have to go to a different oh, apartment unit to use their dryer. It definitely sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so I went to a liquor store. I got me yeah. some buzz balls I've never tried. Oh my God, that's like so crazy. Was it her dryer was broken? Or was it her washing machine was broken? Oh yeah, it was, yeah. Sorry, it was it was yeah. It was it was her dryer was broken because I remember because she was complaining about washing her clothes and how heavy the clothes were for her to carry into the place. It has been like two months. Like the dryer thing was not long after she moved in, and she moved in on like the first of October, and it is now like when she uploaded this, like the twenty second. So maybe it's about the twenty twenty first of December. It, she has been in this apartment for two months without a dryer. Like, them saying, oh, yeah, we'll let you use somewhere else. It's like, well, it's part of their amenities. They probably should be uh, giving you some money back or something. I just don't know how much I buy this. I I, I just, like, two months to fix a dryer? I, I don't buy it. Before, so I think I'm going to drink those tonight. I'm actively trying to decide, do I want to... I wonder if we're going to get to see inside the other apartment. That, 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 see, that would swing it for me if we got to see inside the other apartment with her drying it. But right now, we're inside hers washing it. So if we go to the other apartment to dry it... Maybe I'll believe it's still happening, but if not, it's just her, her trying to make her life seem more interesting. Live stream, or do I just want to vlog, or do uh, I just want to do nothing? And then I also got my grandma a gift. Please do nothing. Um, and then you hope you would. It's Christmas. Uh, Walmart. I went to Walmart and oh tonight God, for dinner. Walmart? I'm actually having a rotisserie chicken. So I just got chicken? some lemon pepper flavored rotisserie chicken. I'm oh my gosh, you got a rotisserie chicken? Um, can we not have seen Walmart? <laughs> Come to the mall with me. Was that all we were getting to see? It was just her like the start where she was in the parking garage and then she went inside and was like, oh, there's no, there's no perfume here. Is that it? Was that all the, was that all the come to the mall with me? I hope we get to see more. So excited. I'm so and excited. I'm also gonna have 
some stovetop stuffing, oh which God, you guys know I love. So tonight's dinner is going to slap. I've never just sit and eat stuffing chicken. by itself. <laughs> the, the longing stare into the camera as she eats her chicken. So good. Why do you eat that in such a weird way? <laughs> so come 2024, it's going to be your girl's year. Just really? watch. Okay. Wasn't like 2023 meant to be her year? Wasn't the single era meant to be like like her real glow up and we're currently just like trapped and we're trapped in our house hoping our mom will take us to Walmart whilst like getting high and <laughs> drinking every single night apparently. So I have my leftovers in the fridge. Oh my we're God. all good. So I exciting. have my clothes I'm so out excited. of the washer in that little, well, big bag. It's going to be heavy because it's kind of a large load and all my clothes are wet. She is a large load of herself, guys, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, so are we going to go? Are we going to go see it? Are we going to see the other? Because like I said, I, I don't buy it. It just seems like too bizarre that it would take two months to repair. So I wonder if we're going to get to see it. I wonder if she's going to shoot me down. From being on the washer. So it's going to be heavy. But I'm halfway through my first buzz ball. It's oh, the okay. sour apple chiller. Why wouldn't you just sit there and just get drunk while you're doing your laundry? Like I, That's what I personally would do. This, this like screams like 2024 will be my year. It's getting drunk whilst doing your laundry. <laughs> sour apple chiller? That sounds... Nice, I guess. I like sour apple. It's a, it's a good flavor. Uh, what is it? Fifteen percent by volume? Uh, it's not really that much, especially when it's only one hundred eighty milliliters. That's like really small. And I've had this one before, so that's why I didn't do a taste test. But wow, really? when I try one that I haven't had before, taste test is coming, folks. Oh yeah, I did it, folks. All my wet clothes were in this guy. Oh my god! And now they are spinning. So we had okay. So we didn't. We didn't. We had a close in shot of the of it. We didn't get to see anything else. We didn't get her usual shot. So, okay, fantastic, guys. So there's no uh, no evidence you actually went to another place. Uh... Oh, the lighting looks... God, she's terrible. God. She really does think she's hot shit. Holy shit. Crazy. That... Her, remember, guys, by the way, like, she'll, she'd like probably pass it. I was like, ha, T, I was so drunk. It's like, wait, not when you're editing it. You're editing it sober, and you still thought, mm, I'm hot shit, I'm going to do this. Better... Okay, I have my second one. Oh, The exciting. Lime Rita Chiller, which I've had before. Cool. So someone on actually Instagram told me, Try the sure. watermelon. I believe you so, so much. You have the watermelon and you're supposed to shake them. <sighs> okay. I, I I don't really know. This is the woman who claims that she gets like hundreds of messages a day. Because I was thinking about... Because I, I, I've been watching uh, Karina Kaboom. Because she's like the one I, I will usually watch. Because I don't really watch too many reactors for Amber anymore. Because like I cover Amber and she's not really interesting enough. Where like the only things I don't usually see are either her TikToks or her Instagram. Those are the only things I really don't see of Amber because I watch every one of her videos and I watch her live streams when she does them. But I, I don't really feel the need to watch like Zachary Michael anymore. I don't really watch like, oh Lord, it's Jordy like I used to. I don't really watch Alex Shook as much as I used to. Um, so I watch Karina Kaboom because she covers the Instagram stories uh, a lot. And I was thinking, should I just like, I don't know, maybe, maybe make an Instagram account to start covering because like a lot of stuff that seems to be coming out recently is on her Instagram. Uh, but I just don't really know if I could be bothered to make an Instagram just specifically to follow her. Or I could go on to like Kiwi Farms probably. I, I'm sure anything she posts up on, on Instagram is probably posted on Kiwi Farms. But I've like never gone to any of the girl world accounts because like they just move too quickly. I used to hang around the Boogie one a lot. Um, but because like a Boogie one it would move. It would be like a page every day and a half, two days. It wasn't really fast, fast moving. But with like Ch Chantel or Amber, it just used to move so quickly. It's like I really couldn't keep up with that. So it's like, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't want to spend half my time like reading back through stuff, trying to find like random bits of information to randomly include in videos. So I don't really know. Anything I ever hear is Jenny comes from like Karina Kaboom because I'm just too lazy. I'd rather have like like her talking in the background because she doesn't really show a lot of stuff. So I'd rather just have her talking in the background than I would have me sitting down and trying to read through like 30 pages of Kiwi Farms trying to find stuff. It's I mean, it seems like she had with VTubing. Like with VTubers, I wanted to try and get into like the VTubing a bit more. So I was like, oh, do you know what? There's a VTubing community on Kiwi Farms. I'll jump in. I'll start chatting. And apart from them being like genuinely the craziest people that I've ever seen to talking about VTubing, that's, it moves so quickly that by the time something happens and you, you go to post about it, 10 more things have happened. And it's like another 20 pages. It's like, ah, oh, okay, this moves too fast for me. I'm too lazy to keep up with this. All right. Sorry, I'm, I'm sure that was it totally uninteresting. Over me. That didn't, mm, but okay. This smells really good. Wow. It probably smells like watermelon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh my Wait, god. This is so good. Oh my god. It tastes like juice. Oh my god. We did it. Oh my god, guys. It tastes like watermelon, I guess. Three buzz balls deep, and I'm still able to do my chores. Wow. Okay, I heard you, ma'am. So now I'm just. Oh, like... she's so quirky. Okay, so I guess we are in the other apartment. So, okay, cool. 
Imagine just like being like, I don't know, like the landlord or landlady or something, I guess, for this property. And like, you just, I don't know. I don't know if they just walk around to their, their nightly checks or something like that. It's an assisted care home, basically, because like, it's like a dis dis disabled access place, I've heard. So I wonder if they walk around to check the place and they just see her dandering past, like three buzz balls deep trying to get her laundry. It, how is it taking two months to fix a dryer? I, ju I don't. I just don't get it. I don't know how much I believe this. It's just suspicious. Put all this in here and then truck it along like Santa Claus yep. over my back like so. Okay, <laughs> so we are now drinking my Choco Chiller, which has always been my, my favorite, but oh I my need my hair God, up. So. It's my favorite. I can't believe we're just sitting here just watching her for this entire video just drink buzz balls. I know her also telling us that 2024 is going to be her year and how everything is, you know, t t t turning up on Amber's side. It's all going well so far. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh, I'm actually editing this vlog as I go. So everything you guys have already seen has sure. already been edited by no, yours truly, Drunkland. You. Because Soberland doesn't want to deal with her. Like, <laughs> Except that's like all we deal with. That's like, like, that is all we deal with. Like it's, it's most of your content, like 50% of your content is you sitting out getting drunk or high. Like, so I'm sure like Sober Lynn does deal with it all the time. They don't 100% get along when it comes to editing, but like on a day-to-day -day basis, they- The editing's her. exactly but the same. Sober Lynn does not like editing Drunk Lynn, so- The editing is exactly the same. There is no difference in the editing. Even like the editing style or anything is exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, I'm LOLing because I just realized I've been putting my oh, buzz ball trash in my fridge. Oh my I think gosh, with the first one, so hard. it was genuinely an accident and then it just kind of became a thing. Okay. So I think the next- Well, that, it means one of two things. Oh yeah, we got some Gatorade. Oh, she got zero, guys. The, all is right with the world. Um, and it means one of two things. It means she's either like such an alcoholic that she was going to get another one with the old one still in her hand because she just wanted to direct swap and she put down the old one when she got the new one. Or she was just doing this for a bit because, like, lol. This one, I'm going to try, which is going to be my fifth one. And Strawberry Rita. Possibly my last. Strawberry Rita. I Shaker. Like Shaker real good. Opener. Uh -huh. And she squirts. And she oh. gets my fingers wet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, oh, that was an accident, guys. I didn't mean to say that. Tee hee. Okay. This is four, she's half my sex jokes. It smells good. Tastes even better. Oh my god, this tastes so good. Wow. Y'all, I have... I can't believe we're just sitting here. It's like, it's like we're over a third the way through this uh, this entire thing so far. And it is just her sitting here just drinking buzz balls. Being, oh, this tastes nice. I like this. Oh, this one tastes nice too. I also like this. It's like, is this all... Is this, is this it? Is this all... Because like, I, I know we're going to get to the high I feel about uh, Ami and Tommy. And I just do not really care... Because I don't really know much about them. I don't know about the Slayton Sister mode. I don't watch 600 Blind Sisters. So I, I I know one of the Slayton Sisters, I don't remember, is Amy. Like, did like a parody of Amber, which I did see. Uh, I think because I saw Michael B. Petty react to it when I was watching Michael B. Petty a couple months ago. Um, like, I, I saw that and that was pretty funny. But that's all I really think I've ever seen. Oh, wait. Do I want more... Hold on. Okay. I just like stumbled on my words again. because I was thinking about two things at once. Yeah. I wanted to say I have Amazon packages that I need to go pick up. Then I remember that I have rotisserie chicken and it's been that a I need to go pick up that my mom needs to take me to pick up. A couple hours since I last ate and I'm like, is your girl kind of hungry again? Is she? <laughs> I remembered that I have food and I was like, I wonder if I'm hungry. Oh, well, I'll just go get the food. That, do you know what? That actually is probably the most genuine thing Amberlynn has ever said. I realize it's been a little bit of time since I've eaten. I don't even know if I feel hungry. I'm just going to go get it anyway. <laughs> is she? Oh my gosh, do I have chicken already? Oh my god. I should probably warm this up. Probably should. I don't usually eat cold chicken like this. Like, I what am I doing? believe you entirely. Sure. Mom. I would just... Have you guys ever seen Jennifer's body, that scene? No. In the kitchen? I have not With seen that scene in the, the kitchen. the meats? No. Ew. Now I don't... Look at her face. I think I want to eat. Sure, I believe you entirely. I just grossed myself out. I don't know what she's talking about. I have, I, I've never seen Jennifer's body. I think that's the one with the Megan, Megan Fox in it, is it? I think it's Megan Fox that for me i will say though that cool. jennifer's body is actually one of my favorite movies like it's just so good like okay I it has no right being that good okay Hi. fantastic <laughs> i'm drinking i really feel like six when she does her book reviews i really feel like i i know what she's talking about you know as someone who has not seen or read what she's talking about i feel like i'm there i feel like i can picture it in my head <laughs> she's like the worst reviewer ever <laughs> kind of slow so i'm about to fill the pets water bowl i believe i you. took to keep probably with buzz balls at this rate for a walk just a little bit ago sure i'm about I to get the like this this thing is trying to claim it so oh yeah i guess i just took twinkie for a walk like yeah just like yeah i just toasted that guy like isn't she like pretending 
that she doesn't like vape in the house because people obviously immediately started criticizing her. It's like, oh, well, so you're vaping around your animals. So I'm sure she like like is trying to say, well, I vape when I'm walking because it means I'm doing it away from the animals. Look how kind and sit around. But I really doubt it because she had like two or three of those vape pens. If you're buying like two or three of those vape pens at a time, you aren't like puffing like twice a day. So you're not doing it like the two times you apparently claim that you walk Twinkie a day. There's literally no way you're only puffing twice a day, especially if you're trying to get high. You'd be puffing consistently. So I don't believe her that she only ever does it when she's out walking Twinkie. I think it's pina colada. Pina? Buzz ball, which is a pina ya colada. And I'm probably going to get like a snack moment because I did get creeped out by that. I which is like free it. chicken. So I'm not going to be eating that. Well, but sure. um, I don't really know what am I going to have. That's the real question. Oh my God. I think Taco I have like Bell? a lot of snacks because. I, yeah, I do think you have a lot of snacks. <laughs> I do think you have a lot of oh snacks. Oh my God. I'm making fun of myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't funny because it's like a, it's like a lie. See the reason why it wasn't funny because you're not making fun of yourself. You're 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 trying to do this to cover because you're like, guys. I actually don't have very many snacks in my house, and it's like, uh, yeah, you do. I, even even in the fridge, I saw like I don't know, like twelve mozzarella sticks, which is what you use as a snack. So yeah, you do actually have loads of snacks. You, you're just pretending that you don't. Like this whole like I'm making fun of myself is just to cover up that you just lied and said that you don't have snacks in your house. My double chin, triple chin, who yeah. knows? Quadruple chin. Like yeah. what? I don't know. Yeah. What am I gonna have for a snack? Let's go find a snack. I don't know. Maybe a meal. <laughs> Not me eating a meal as a snack. Like See, he... haters, hey. My snack uh -huh. choice. Imagine just like your entire life is revolving around people like criticizing you on the internet. <laughs> oh, this is kind of embarrassing. This is like two days before Christmas and this is what she's doing. That's really sad. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Wow. So random fact that I told my mom, or she didn't know. I can't believe Which this. Random Wait, hold on. Let me start the story over. Oh my God. I, I cannot believe for whatever nonsense we're about to get here, guys. Buckle up, buckos. So I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and I was like, yeah, that's my like favorite cereal in the whole entire world. And my mom's oh like, my oh my God, me too. And I'm like, crazy. no oh way. My God. Like, totally no way. Country, so. Oh my God. Crazy. Yep. That's my story time. Cinnamon Toast Crunch isn't legal in other countries. I, I, we have cinnamon, like we have cinnamon toast crunch here, like it's not. What? That was a terrible story. The hello, st hello. Her story of I like cereal, and by chance, obviously, her mom loves the same cereal as her. It just because uh, uh, it weirdly always just seems to happen with Amber that if she loves something, it's also the other person's favorite thing ever. It's so weird that it just always happens like that. It's almost like it's a lie, and she's just trying to like force a bond with someone by acting like well we both like the same thing we must be best friends you know that kind of thing that she does um really okay okay it's so uninteresting it's like just so so uninteresting like, okay. amber can you just do something fun could you be fun could you like be an interesting person could you say something funny could you do something funny could you leave your house could you I don't just do anything as opposed to just sitting there with a buzzball taste test where every single taste test was Mm, I like that. And that was it. That was every taste test. That was it. There was there was nothing else. It was just I like this. Fantastic. What a what an interesting taste test from the woman who can eat her own cooking. So she likes everything. Okay, so it is the next day, and I we noticed. Just, Thank you. We're gonna act like last night didn't happen. I think I'm gonna okay. take a longer break from drinking this time. Then maybe just like delete it. Maybe just delete that footage and just get rid of it because it will, like, you're the one like, this is the thing where she's trying to pretend she she put in that lie. It's like, well I'm editing this all, you know, as, as I am now because Sober Amber doesn't like editing. It's like, well, Sober Amber could just delete that. Sober Amber doesn't need to include That's why it's still Sober Amber editing it. Sober Amber is still the one including it because she's the one who's making the video and then post the video. She is the one creating it. So there's no reason why Sober Amber can't just be like, maybe I should just not include me randomly just getting drunk constantly and being pathetic. Maybe I should just like not include that. But because she's so lazy, that is half of her content. It is literally half of her content. Um, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll drink on my birthday, but it's not going to be anything. I unlike it's going to be like just like low-key moment. Yeah, I mean, sure. I'm, good night. I'm not going to lie. Um, I did stop vlogging. As Guys, it was such a good night. It was such a good night. I literally sat in my living room alone drinking and filming myself and doing my laundry and then editing myself apparently whilst drinking it was such a good night it doesn't sound like you did anything you did your laundry whilst drinking because that's the depressive state you're at in your life and then you filmed yourself doing that and then edited yourself doing it. you didn't do anything else how is it how, who would describe that as a good night 
I sat down and played with my friends. All my friends came around. We did board games or magic and we, we had a couple of drinks and we played video games together. That's like a good night. Being like, I sat in the house by myself drinking. Oh, such a good night, guys. You could see. Anyways, today is very much a let's deep clean type day. Oh, yeah. Clean from Again, another deep clean. I honestly love cleaning. She lies is, so much. I... We get to, if she ever has to tell you this so often, it means she's lying. The fact that every time you talk about cleaning, you have to do this whole practice spiel, it means you're lying. You shouldn't need to deep clean twice a fucking week. Just, I love it. I think it's because like sure. 2018 era, like I couldn't clean. Like I couldn't uh -huh. clean. Like, sure, okay. My legs trembling. So, I literally have heard all this before. This is why it's part of her spiel. This is nonsense. It's like, I don't know. I think that I took things like that for granted. So now it's like- Then why is your house always filthy? Make my apartment smell good, feel good, look good. Smell like, good. I just- we know, we know why you make your apartment smell good. because you don't come by. I love it. I don't know. Okay. So I actually am going to a Christmas party tomorrow. Sure so you I'm are. trying to look I at my you. clothing. And I'm like, what do I wear? I have a feeling what I know I want to wear. But I'm going to go through these. And I'm going to pick a few. And then I'll show you guys like my ideas. Oh, so so last time I wore this. Oh, it was flippy discs. I loved it. And everyone else seemed to really like it. It was a hit. Oh, everyone loved it, guys. She's, she is so egotistical. She's so narcissistic. Everyone loved it, guys. No one gave a fuck. If anyone even complimented on you, they were lying through their teeth. They were like, uh-huh, oh, yeah, oh, you look so good. Because you don't. Like, embarrassing. Most people, like, realize that if they're getting given, like, a false compliment. That is just, like, a compliment out of politeness. People don't actually go, everyone loved it. Everyone kept saying how beautiful I was. It's, if you actually believe that, you are actually crazy. Like it. And then we have this dress here, uh -huh. which is lacy and Maybe red. Maybe show us from or, further back. I, okay, she fell off. Yeah, or she did. we have this one. Oh, that looks bad. Oh, and on the back of it, looks like uh, that. that looks really bad. I think what I'm bad. probably going to do tomorrow is try all three of these on. And why don't you just like, try them on like now? If you're like, picking them now and you're filming this, why don't you just try them all on now for us? Just like see which one I feel the best in. So come back for tomorrow's vlog or whenever I upload next. <laughs> which dress yeah. did I choose? Which one do you guys think I'm going to choose? Okay, guys, so wow. literally just in this vlog, I said how I ran out of my favorite perfume. Which, hold on, let's talk about that for a second. So I said this in my last vlog. I recently... Oh my god, we're seriously at the point where she... She does, like, these Naruto flashbacks, like, so often now, and it's so deliberately just her trying to, like, stretch her vlogs to be extra long for no apparent reason. Well, no apparent reason is, is a lie. And she's just reposting monetized content again to try and re-monetize it. We have ran out of, like... I would say about five or six perfumes, like all within like the span of just like a month. Yeah. And I have gotten messages on Instagram because I do like these daily Q and A's. So if you want to follow uh -huh. me on there, go there. No. My username is down in the description. But people no. are like, how did you use four to five perfumes in just a month? Like, how is that possible? That's what you no, do. I ran out of that many because I had so many perfumes no, that doesn't. I've had for years that no, just had like the doesn't. tiniest bit left. And I was like, she showed her perfume collection before. And like, she does have a lot of perfumes, but like a lot of perfumes as in like, 12 bottles or something like that it was like 12 bottles and they weren't like six different like perfumes they had like 12 bottles uh and they weren't all like just right at the end it, she had like 12 14 bottles but they weren't like all like right right at the end she oh, happened to use the last spritz on each of them at exactly the same time she she doesn't this is this is just her lying this is just her pretending she just uses lots of perfume because she smells like, I need to stop, like, prolonging their demise because it's going to happen. Because, like, Gucci and then my Versace one, like, I did not want those to go by. So, like, my, my sixth perfume, like, my Gucci and um, the Versace one. Yep, there's four more to go. I'm sure you'll get there. I would leave, like, the smallest bit, but no, I was you like, wouldn't. you know what? I'm just going to use them. She up. showed her perfumes. There were, they, they were not, like... 14 perfumes and eight of them with like one milliliter squirt at the bottom of it. That was not what it was like at all when she showed a perfume collection. This month, call the day. And then if I like them so much, just buy more. So no, I didn't use five full yes, she did. perfumes yes, she did. in a month. Y'all, be for real. But look yes, at what I got did. in the mail. <laughs> more perfume. Oh my God, my favorite perfume. See, I was just at Macy's. Look, look what I got in the mail, guys. More perfume again. It's not like I use like lot, lots. It's not like I, I use five a month, guys. I but I'm just by the way, I use those five and I'm now restocking all five. I'm not it's not that I use them all though every month. But I because these ones are I, I even though they're probably only have one milliliter, I never use them. I do need to get five more now. Just for no rat reason, guys. But I had ordered this on Amazon before I went to Macy's, or else I would have gotten it at Macy's. But I got my Versace. Wow. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Dun dun. My baby is back. Wow. So this is the old one. Sure. It was just the tiniest little bit, and that's what See, I... See, remember, this is, the, this is the woman who said, oh, I only ever left tiny spritz in each of them. 
They're all filled. <laughs> they're all filled. This is the woman who said, I ran out of five in one go because I always have just had tiny spritz. They're all full. I meant when I said, like, I saved the smallest little bit on, like, five perfumes. Yeah, sure. So, anyways. I saw that for Saucy One recently because she shows it all quite a lot. It was not. Like, she's making it sound like it was at this level. For ages, it was not. It was, like, half full, like, when I last saw it. Now, we replace her. Oh, my God. Isn't she gorgeous? They're all the perfumes I own, yeah. plus my cute little Nicki Minaj down oh, here. Weird. It's the same perfumes that you had last time in your collection. It's almost like you use them constantly and just buy fresh ones to replace them with. Just like you just did with your Versace. It's so weird, guys. It's, it's so it's so, it's so weird. Here. Ours and ours later. So, Fascinating. my hair's frizzy. It's currently air drying. I don't like, like you. The top layer always dries first, and then the bottom layer it's takes not, literally forever. Yeah, so, it's not what air drying um, is, I though. wanted to just, like, make a few things clear. I do not smoke nicotine. I actually have only oh smoked nicotine God. one time in my life. It was sure. when I was 14. I'm fixing to be 33. Um, a lot of people were confused entirely. when I said, like, I vape and stuff. I strictly just vape THC products. Yeah, I The girl Delta entirely. 8, Delta 9, Delta 10 type situation. And also, in my last vlog, like, I was crying over a thousand pound sisters. Which... Yeah, you were lying. Uh, with the, 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 the vaping THC thing. Okay, so... She claims she's been doing that since Becky because she wants to blame Becky for that because she's like, oh, I know you all think Feline got me into it, but it wasn't, it was actually Becky. And she tried to blame Becky for that. Um, like five, six years ago, like I, I don't know America. I don't care about America. I don't follow, follow American like politics and stuff like that that closely. But like in like wherever they live, was it was it um, Kentucky? She lived with Becky. W was like THC legal five, six years ago? When she st apparently started smoking it, when, when did it legalize? Like, I was, I was kind of curious about that. I'm not going to look. <laughs> I'm not going to look because I've gone past my, my ability of caring. But I, I, I just don't know, like, what, was it actually legal five to six years ago when she's claiming that Becky apparently got her into it? The smoking nicotine thing, do I believe her? No, I don't believe her. Um, that Feline smoked. Like, everyone knew Feline smoked. She used to lie about that all the time as well. But everyone always knew that Feline smoked because it was like docs that... Feline smoking at the front door or, or smoking whilst walking drinking. So if Amber has smoked for five, six years and Feline smoked, a hundred percent, I believe they smoked together. Like I, I, I do not think that Amber's like, no, I'm just going to take my THC vape occasionally while she's sitting there smoking. I do. I don't, I don't believe that. I do think she would have smoked with Feline because it's Amber. Like Amber trying to pretend she doesn't do a certain unhealthy trait when she does every other unhealthy trait. I, I no, I'm sorry. I don't buy it. I'm actually about to watch the next episode. Oh, fascinating. Um, it aired, I think, last night. And I sure. forgot to watch it. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to watch that. People were like, oh my god. Oh my god, so, so we, we're seriously having, like, how I feel about Ami and Ami and Tommy. I'm never going to stop saying that. I, Ami and Tommy Slayton is, like, the last, like, <laughs> more than 20, 20 seconds of this vlog. And she just has it up there to try and clickbait their name because their videos just kind of... She's going to talk about them every single vlog now in the title just because they're popular right now. And like, they don't even like you. I'm actually friends with them on Facebook, and me and Amy have talked. Amy actually so? made, like, a parody about me years ago. So? She apologized to me personally for it. Oh, so it. she didn't um, then. Oh. She's actually super freaking sweet. I love them both. Okay, so she didn't. So, like, anytime someone says, like, someone did something public to me, but the way they pro apologize to me privately, I just do not believe them. Because, like, a public a public grievance is, like, a pu requires, like, a public apology, in my opinion. So, I don't buy that whatsoever. Especially for Amber, who feels slighted. And, like, uh, actually, we're friends on Facebook. It's like, so? That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything at all. Especially if you're all part of the whole girl world sphere online. You could have been friends with them for, since six years ago for all we know. And we're friends on Facebook. Who cares, bro? I actually have talked to her once. It's like, wow. Impressive. I talked to a couple of celebrities once. I'm not their friends. I support them both. And I love watching their journey. Sure. Which is nothing but happiness and love and health. And honestly, it's I'm like... Click even if they hated I'm click my guts, I would still support them and think those things and no, you don't. be attached to who they are no you wouldn't because like you like you consider like your uh detractors like the, the commentary channels as hating you and you you despise them you like when one of them had a heart attack you didn't even care you joked about it like so no you don't care it's like you're you're such a good heart that even if they hated me i would still care about them well apparently you couldn't extend that to narc alert people because i watch the show like i'm not really that type of person that like holds grudges like i've never been that i'm gonna bring up the narc alert thing again where narc alert apparently had a heart attack and she was like joking around about it because she just didn't care because how dare someone talk about me on the internet so i don't care if they have a heart attack and die or whatever <laughs> you know narc alert didn't die but like 100 she wouldn't care she doesn't hold grudges she's she's threatened becky with a lawsuit if becky ever exposes her in any way like 
That's what she did. But she doesn't hold grudges, guys. She is still talking about Feline like six months later. It's like five, six months after the break. Nearly six months now after the breakup. She is still talking about Feline in every single vlog. But she doesn't hold grudges. She's still talking about all the stuff to do with Becky, Destiny's mom, Becky's mom, all that kind of stuff. Years later, but she doesn't hold grudges, guys. Person, but genuinely, I love them. I like no, them a don't. lot. And you're using like, them for no clickbait. Tea. Anyways, I'm rambling. Yeah, I no, actually, no, I'm about to go to there, bed. There's, yeah, there's no tea because th th you mean nothing to them. That's why there's no tea. You, you're, you're clickbaiting their man because they're popular right now. That's what you're doing. Like, there's no tea, guys. Well, well the tea is that you're trying to use them for clout and acting like you care about them. That's what the tea is. That's it. That's all. That's all the tea is. Ed. That's not true. I'm going to take my melatonin, sure. which then kicks in in about like 45 minutes. And then I sit there for like 15 minutes. So I probably won't. I just love this fact. She needs like a drug to go to sleep. <laughs> like, I know melatonin isn't like a real drug, but if you have to take anything to go to sleep, it's like, bro, maybe she should just like work out more. You're the one who like, claims you're like always on your feet doing so, so much stuff. Maybe you should just work out more. You could fall asleep like, naturally. I'll be sleeping for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Is that girl math? Have you guys seen the stuff trending about girl math? That is literally me. But there's also no. Air Berlin math. No, oh God. Wait, see, well, see, you know it's like a trend for like girl math that I'm trying to jump on the bandwagon for now? Well, the thing is this Air Berlin math is even more special than that. Oh, that's so, so funny. So, so, oh God, you're so you're so much spe more special than everyone. Um, I'm like mathematician Lynn. That's actually wow. a joke between me and my friends. One of my exes was Sam literally. Between me and my friends? Like, all zero of them, but that's me. I'm a bad mathematician. I think friends means zero people. <laughs> Walking calculator, and it was a very nice compliment. Like, thank you, thank you. Anyways, your math is terrible. Again. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna. Wow, she actually like is seriously just like lying and pretending that she's really good at math. Like, why would you? I just don't. It's just something weird to lie about. Like, I really she thinks she's like the best person. Like everything she does because she is narcissistic. But like, I'm not trying to flex. People like people call me like a walking calculator. Like, oh my god, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, like, like imagine trying to flex your math skills to someone and you're like 33 imagine actually sitting there and thinking like this will be a good flex to like show how awesome a person i am someone once called me a walking calculator oh, like thank you thank you i'm so up there it's like jesus christ bro uh really genuinely bad like actually just so bad it's just like the buzzball taste test which is her drinking a bunch of buzzball i like that oh that, i also like that one Come to the mall with me was 30 seconds long. It was her getting out of the car in the parking garage and then walking in and going, oh, I want to get a perfume, but they don't have it. And that was it. And how I feel about Amy and Tammy. And it was like a minute 20 at the end. Like, weirdly, the Buswell taste test was the most of it because it was half of the vlog. A full half of the vlog was just her trying a bunch of different Buzzballs scattered throughout it whilst doing just random nonsense going, mm, I like that. Really, really poor effort. A genuinely poor. I, I have to admit, if it was... If I wasn't doing this for, like, a reaction, because, like, the reactions kind of make it a wee bit more fun, I probably wouldn't be watching her anymore. I would just be watching reaction channels now, because I, I don't see the point in watching her raw. There's nothing here. Uh, really bad video, guys. Um, I do hope you have a good Christmas. You don't hear from me again before then. Hopefully, I do have a Christmas surprise or two coming out for you. I, I don't know. It depends on if I get, get it edited or if YouTube is still being annoying and still just randomly demonetizing stuff, unfortunately. But that's going to be out of it, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.